What is going on, everyone? Might go back doing a card show recap. Just wanted to take a few moments to share some of my PC pickups from the card show I attended uh, this past weekend. Nishamini Mall Card Show in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Fantastic show. Always enjoy it. In terms of being a mall show, it's really, really good. Uh, there's a few other local malls that do have shows occasionally, and usually, depending mall to mall, they're not great. Uh, some of them are only three, four tables. Some of them have a few more tables than that, but it's just the selection isn't there. The Nishamini Mall show, really good selection. You even have some pre-war stuff. You've got uh, some vintage stuff, obviously not as much as a huge show, but that selection is there. There's stuff to look at and a lot of value boxes and of course some modern stuff, a little bit of wax, a little bit of everything. I thought this show was a really good setup. I really enjoyed myself at it. Uh, two of my main guys, two of the guys I really look forward to seeing weren't even there. So if they were there, it would have been really, really good. Um, just a good setup. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how long that mall will be around and it will be unfortunate um, if and when that place closes just because usually if they have to move a show somewhere else, it's usually not the same. So um, I'll definitely enjoy them while I can. Uh, next one coming up in June and then they do a couple more after that. So check out your uh, local shows if you have the opportunity to have a really good show. I would uh, recommend always uh, finding a way to stop by and kind of check it out. Support some of the local dealers. Just have some fun looking at stuff, whether you buy stuff or not. Anyway, uh, I picked up a stack of cheap stuff uh, for the collection, but I do not have that with me. But I'm going to show off uh, some of the highlights uh, of some purchases. So let's uh, get started. This is actually one of the cheap cards that just happened to be around. This is a uh, pre-rookie from 1991. The Scranton Wilkesbury Red Barons, back when Scranton Wilkesbury was the Phillies affiliate in AAA, Mickey Morandini, really popular Philly, member of the 1993 National League champion Phillies, was with the Phillies for probably six, seven, eight years, something like that. Um, actually, a two-time Philly came back later in his career as well, but very popular and still works with the team. So he'll be around at team events. Just one of those random cards found in a cheap box and thought would make a cool addition to the collection. And then I picked these up. Again, not expensive at all. Cool little Upper Deck cards. Uh, the Upper Deck Company, Bat, 1993 Upper Deck. Looks like uh, National Baseball Library and Archive, Cooperstown, New York. The underrated Philly. Johnny Callison. Just thought it was a cool little card, little action shot there of Johnny Callison. Pretty cool, neat little item. And then also grab the Del Ennis. Just thought uh, those were cool. And I, I've gotten to the point where I have so much, you know, obviously modern stuff that comes out. Uh, seemingly weekly, and then, you know, I, I have a lot of the easy-to-find vintage stuff, so I'm always looking for pre-war stuff, and then, obviously, pre-war can become difficult, plus pricey and expensive, so if I can find just some oddball stuff, I really uh, had a good time picking some of that stuff up, and most of the time, it's fairly cheap. Here's another rando. Pete Orr autograph is assigned to Pete Orr. Uh, team issue photo card, four by six photo card that they sell at the stadium. Usually do a few se different series during the course of the year. And uh, Pete Orr was not a long time Philly, nor was he really a big time big leaguer. But uh, he's one of those guys who was around for a couple years and uh, did not ever get a Phillies like official release from Tops, at least not that I'm aware of. So the Phillies photo card is probably the only way you're getting a card of him. And so this one was signed. And as you can see, uh, was not exactly expensive. So I figured, what the hell, why not pick that up? I'm sure that's the type of card that uh, some of my fellow Phillies friends will enjoy and kind of get a laugh at. Sometimes it's as fun as it is to pick up like the big time members of the uh, of the team and guys who made a massive 
impact on the field. Sometimes picking up the guys who were there for a cup of coffee or only had one or two little moments um, can be kind of fun and funny as well. Uh, next up, these were just released. Haven't really seen them around too much. They'll be selling these at the stadiums and I'm sure some local retailers, but it's a 2023 Tops factory retail set put out by Tops. So 17 cards. So a bunch of the cards will be the same cards from Series 1, but you also get some Series 2 previews. And usually there's one or two cards that are exclusive to this set, uh, a different image or so. And I always try and get those cards and add them to my uh, Tops Ultimate Tops team set binder. They're obviously not part of the regular set, so I guess you wouldn't have to add them, but I always um, add them. I think it's cool. So there's the checklist of it. So I would say... Gene Segura is likely not going to be in Series 2 in a Phillies uniform based on the way that he was in a Marlins uniform in big league. So I have a feeling the Segura card in this, while he's not currently on the Phillies, I think that might be his only release in this design in a Phillies uniform. And there's a chance that one of the guys that are photoshopped, like a Taiwan Walker, Trey Turner, may have a different image on their Series 2 card or uh, perhaps Tops Update, whichever series they're in. So... Always like picking one of them up or more sometimes. And as you can see, I got one opened right here. So I'll just show that off. Kyle Schwarber, he was not in Series 1. So there's a look at his card. Gene Segura. Jose Alvarado. That's one of his few uh, tops cards as a Philly. He was in a few tops now uh, team sets, but I don't know that he's been a regular release. Zach Wheeler, who's not in Series 1. Taiwan Walker, clearly photoshopped because it's certainly not Citizens Bank Park behind him. Trey Turner, here's his first Topps Phillies card. Alec Bohm, Castellanos, who's not in Series 2. So a lot of guys, or who's not in Series 1, I should say. Aaron Nola, Bailey Falter, rookie. Ranger Suarez, who didn't find his way into Series 1. So a number of cards there that I can get, at the very least, into the binder early as Series 2 is not slated to release until June. Now, the biggest pickups uh, was this group of stuff. I uh, got a really good deal on this. I want to say pretty much um, combined. Probably got this stuff at about half a sticker price. So happy about this. This is a card I already have, but I just uh, love the 51 Bowman so much. Richie Ashburn that ended up picking this one up. Getting it uh, basically tossed into this deal um, at a really good price. I couldn't turn it down. A little bit of staining on the back and the corners aren't perfect. Centering is not perfect, but not bad. But always just love that image. So Sweet Richie Ashburn there. And then the rest of the stuff is a 1950 pennant. Little mini pennant. Philadelphia Phillies. Picked up this 30s, 40s Phillies patch. Old school logo with the Quaker on it. And then the other stuff is a little bit bigger, so I'll probably have to move the camera here. All right, I'll try and keep this as steady as I can. So this is a 43 Earl Naylor Philadelphia Phillies press photo. So nice image there. I like that it has the Phil's uh, old school uniform there. And this is after he was traded to the Cardinals. So some cool information there. And then got a stamp on the back from June 2nd, 1943. Photo was property of the Associated Press. So just thought that was a neat addition. You know, clearly not a huge name or anything, but it's just cool to add neat stuff like this. And then picked up this. Uh, 52 Eddie Wakeus baseball magazine premium photo 
published by the baseball magazine company New York, Eddie Weekus. Enlarged from original photograph by United Press. So cool image there. Eddie Wakis, the inspiration for the movie The Natural. So that's a cool one there. And then finally, uh, Team Issue. 1952, Richie Ashburn, Philly's Team Issue picture. Photo not in perfect shape, but still looks well. Has some age. Fighting Phil's. Richie Ashwin, outfielder. So, just love adding little things like that to the uh, collection now. When you can find them and then you can work out a good deal that makes a lot of sense, it's like a must-get. So, those are the types of things. So, as you can see, not like a crazy amount of cards, uh, some non-card items, but all really neat stuff that just fits that Phillies collection really well. Had a good time at the show, got to talk to a bunch of people. Um, and that's always fun too, socializing a little bit and checking out cards and looking at stuff whether you make purchases or not. So had fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Comment below, let me know your favorite item, any shows you've attended recently, any shows you're looking forward to. And I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.